very uh, we have been saddened by this news of the passing on of uh, the legend, our, our father, Utata Nelson Mandela. We would want to say to the, to the world and South Africa as a whole that as a province and the provincial government of Limpopo, we are also part of those who are mourning the sad death of this legend, the sad death of this uh, soldier of, of love, the soldier of peace, a warrior with passion, a person, uh, a messenger of hope, a, a person who delivered us out of uh, a, 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 the wilderness up into where we are up, uh, today. We, are, we, we want to say to you that uh, Nelson Mandela passed on. Having passed on, he left us with the legacy, the legacy of peace, the legacy of hope, the legacy of uh, forgiveness, uh, that says you need to, te to, to take somebody uh, who's not necessarily known to you as your brother from another mother. Let's, let's take that legacy and go on with it, carry on soldiering on with the legacy of Nelson Mandela and, uh, and see as to whether we cannot get this country somewhere, to somewhere where everybody would like to see himself. Um, but all in all, we are saying, George, let us all there, responsibly ah. mourn this uh, uh, passing on of this legend and hope that uh, one day, at some stage, we will reach the ideals that Nelson Mandela stood for. Premier, do you have any personal memories of uh, Tata Madiba? Yes, I remember many instances, as you would remember, Peter, when Nelson Mandela was uh, president of uh, the African National Congress, I was also the treasurer, provincial treasurer of the African National Congress. I would remember his voice all the time when we met. He would say, Comrade Treasurer, even when I was no longer treasurer, when I always met Comrade uh, Utata Nelson Mandela, he would always say, uh, Comrade Treasurer, Comrade Treasurer, and he would want to know what are the issues in the province, mm -hmm. what are the issues down there in the Great North in Limpopo. So um, this is one person who we all uh, had great respect, great, uh, when we met with him, we always felt very fulfilled as individuals, as young comrades in the African National Congress. Um, I remember when he visited us uh, several times here in, in Limpopo. At some stage, he visited us when uh, we had problems with uh, the then Bantustan, when we went to Kose, or when we were organizing for Kodesa. And he was trying to motivate us to bring us together and make sure that we, we accept and take on board uh, organizations such as Intando Isizwe, organizations such as Botarias Chaba, which was led by uh, Ramudike, and the one which was head, led by uh, Brigadier Ram Ramushwana at, uh, in, in Venda, and Shimok Sharishak. He wanted all those organizations to come together. His motivation to us, his, uh, because we were saying these are the enemy camps, there's no way that we can take them on board. Mm -hmm. But Nelson Mandela came to us and said, comrades, you must understand that the conditions of the day have changed. And if you are still living in the past, you will be left in the past. But if you look forward and want to continue with the new dispensation, then you'll take these people on mm. board. And, uh, and, and indeed, we took those people on board. Everything else is history today. So Nelson Mandela was a, a very unique leader, a leader that uh, uh, would be very angry if you do, some, you do things which, which he felt, he strongly believed, that are not supposed to be done, are an ANC or are not supposed to be done in this movement. He would be very, very, very cross, you know. But uh, he is somebody who would also be very impressed when you, you do something that uh, he believed was something that the ANC stood for. As a leader of the province, Ndate Matabate, what shape would you like your province to take to make sure that it mirrors the ideals that Dada Mandela lived and believed in? 
I think the province must actually make sure that uh, uh, it, uh, it puts the people before every, everything else. The province and its leadership must ensure that at the end of the day, what, what, in whatever thing that we do, our people, the love for our people remains to be a driving factor. We, 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 we do things selflessly. We do things with our people and ensuring that uh, our people are the beneficiaries before we as leaders benefit. All right, Premier, we're going to have to leave it there, but thank you very much indeed uh, for sharing your thoughts and your personal memories of uh, Tata Madiba. We thank you for your time, sir.